My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a really sharp looking 65 Impala right here. I love the colors. It's a low mile sweetheart. Love the stance, the wheels. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can study over 100 pictures, read all the specs, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. We're putting up new videos every day. But right now, why don't you join me for a spin in a 65 Chevy Impala? Yeah, I really like this car. I seen pictures of it. They were emailed to me one day and instantly I knew I wanted the car. And then uh, we worked our way through it. I found out what a clean example it is and I bought it and here we are. I got it from a collector in Minnesota. He's a big time collector. He's sold million dollar cars. He only likes nice, clean, uh, unmolested cars. I know the wheels and suspension's been changed, but this is a 61,000 mile original metal car. I think the chrome and trim, and the glass, I think it's all original and it's in really nice shape. Here's six of the reasons why I bought this car. I love the round tail lights on a 65. Just about anyone else you talk to says the same thing. It's a subtle difference, but them tail lights make the car. They're pristine. This emblem is like pristine. This trim is excellent. The bumper shiny, but it's probably original. It has a little light scratches on it here and there, but look how nice it all fits. It's the original color. I think it's called Artesian Turquoise, no vinyl top. It has the matching interior. Again, looks great. This is all the original metal, original quarter panels. This thing is straight and clean. Some little nicks on the edge right here. This is a metal door edge guard. That's an original door edge guard. But all this trim, I doubt that this has all been replaced. I think it's original and in really nice shape. Does have a new windshield. Like the rubber around the vent window is nice. The vent window pillar is real nice. As the bow tie mirrors on each side. Hood fits nice and square and flush. The doors do too. This emblem's probably new. The grill is probably a real good original. So is the bumper. Just nice original. There is a little, little blister right here on the hood. That's probably the worst flaw in the whole car. Uh, the metal flake is laid out nice. The clear coat's polished smooth and glossy. They're 17 inch Riddler wheels with performance tires. The front end's completely new. Every component looked new. All the steering components. Uh, it has drop spindles and it has uh, the coilover adjustable gas shocks. So you can crank that up a little bit uh, if you need to. In back, it has QA1 gas adjustable shocks and lowering springs. Uh, it has dual exhaust with the uh, cherry bomb type muffler. You'll hear how that sounds in a minute. The motor and trans were rebuilt. The motor is spotless when you look up from the bottom. The oil pan, uh, the flywheel cover, the starter looks brand new. Has the correct canister screw on oil filter. The power glide transmission has been rebuilt. It looks spotless. It's not even greasy or dirty. Uh, and back, it does have a 12 volt uh, rear end. The floors are virgin. They've not been spray painted over. They've not been cut, patched. Uh, they're rust free, original metal. The inner rockers, inner quarters are all clean. The little rubber drain plugs are all still there. So good, clean, solid, original body. Has disc brakes in front. That's a new conversion. This is all stock except for the Edelbrock four barrel that's on there. Uh, super clean. This is original paint in the jams, original black paint on the firewall and core supports, all nice and clean, smooth metal. Has its original 327. It's a uh, 275 horse. That's the, the upper horsepower for this engine. It has the double hump heads, the four barrel carb. Has the right exhaust manifolds. Has the heat uh, riser tube to the choke. Has the little shields around the spark plugs, the heat shields. Reproduction hose clamps, 
and battery cap, or uh, radiator cap. The battery is bolted down properly, has new cables. Matching interior, I mean, it matches spot on. Uh, has the deluxe seat belts. So door panels are mint, the armrests, window cranks, all that trim, the seat trim is really nice. Trunk compartment, super clean. The light works. This is original paint, the Jam's original paint. So this, this car has had one repaint, it was exterior only. So this is all original, original sticker. They did touch up the spatter finish underneath the mat. It's perfectly solid metal, but around the sides, it's the original spatter finish. It does have a different wheel for a spare, but it does have the spare and it does have the jack. This is the original rubber mat. It has a couple small cracks in it, but it is the original. The dash is mint. I'm sitting in here looking at it. The chrome sparkles. The lenses are crystal clear. The knobs are mint. The heater control panels mint. The dash pads mint. You look at the kick panels, they're excellent. The rear shelf is excellent and all the trim. Does have six by nine speakers back there and they're painted turquoise, so they match real nice. Uh, getting back in here, does have power steering, power brakes. Does have the dual reservoir master cylinder. Um, I mean, everything just looks good. It has the original hood insulation, it has the horns. If I mention it has the deluxe seat belts, also has rear seat belts, carpet's been replaced, uh, glove box liner's real clean, headliner, visors are mint, the mirror is mint. Looking up inside the door jams here, it's mint. Uh, they did replace the rubber uh, weather strips on the car. But these are the original door jams, that's not been painted. So it's a good clean car that someone put some wheels and lowered it. Also, the stereo, it, it's the original AM radio, but when you turn it on, it has digital display behind it, so it has new modern guts in the original radio. Sixty-one thousand three hundred and sixty miles. Motor just runs sweet. Temperature light says cold, that works, so it's not warmed up yet, obviously. The wood grain, the steering wheel, all beautiful shape. The glass packs give it that little raspy sound when you goose it, nothing radical. The motor's as quiet, quiet as a mouse in slippers. a lot of cars through here and I like the 65 Impalas and we don't get as many as I would like to see. And this one here with great colors. I forgot to turn on the headlights like I usually do. Great colors, great look, just a good clean car. 327 motor, you can cruise in this thing all day, every day. So visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact us. You can talk to the salesman and ask them whatever questions you have. I just gave you my honest impression of the car, but they'll help you with specifics. They'll help you with the transport, financing, paperwork. So visit volocars.com if you're interested. If you just enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.